I'm Nick Pettit. I'm Jason Seifer. And you're watching The Treehouse Show, your weekly dose of internets where we talk about all things web design, web development, and more. In this episode, we'll be talking about UX, sitemaps, JavaScript tours, and more. Let's check it out. First up, we have this really amazing site called Six UX. I thought it was Six X. Six X. Six Ux. No, there's a, there's a there's a space there. It's Six Space Ux. Got it. Six UX is this really cool site that is your daily dose of inspiring six second transitions and animations saved for reference. So if we scroll down the page here, you can see that there's a bunch of little videos that basically show these animated interactive elements that you can catch around the web. I think one of the really cool things about the site is that they're actually using Vine to record these videos and then post them to the site. So really interesting use of Vine. But uh, the more important thing is that this is just a great collection of animated transitions. Yeah, that's a, it's a great place to go for inspiration. And yeah, totally agree with you. I didn't even know what to use Vine for until I saw Six Sucks. Now we know. Six UX. <laughs> Uh, next up, we, uh, we have a website that addresses the problem of staying up to date on front end technologies. I thought you could do that at teamtreehouse.com. This is for people who don't watch the Treehouse show, I oh, guess. Okay. However, this website does list the Treehouse blog as a great source of information. That is true. So um, this just is a ton of different resources. It says follow cool people on Twitter. Twitter is a great source of information, you know, for people who are working on the web. They'll post what they're working on. So great list of people to follow on here. Uh, I don't think I'm I'm in this. So, yeah, I didn't, you know. I didn't see you and me in here, which is kind of... Kind of weird. Yeah, so take it with a grain of salt right there. Right. Uh, next, find the best sources. So it goes through with some different blogs that you might want to go to. This is a good one right here, the Treehouse blog. Um, but yeah, just really a great repository of information. Uh, one thing that's actually pretty awesome about this site is there's been a lot of lists like this in the past, but they can quickly fall out of date when new resources come out. And what's cool about this is you can actually fork this on GitHub and add new things to it as they come out. So it should theoretically always be up to date. So then you could go ahead and fork it, submit a pull request with your changes, and then they could be included on the site. Yeah. That's very cool. Very nice. Next up is the GIF countdown. Do you mean GIF I, countdown? I do mean GIF. Apparently, you pronounce GIF as, as GIF. Did, no. Now, did you um, juggle for that information, or did you read that somewhere else? I did not. <laughs> GIF Countdown is a real-time updating, animating countdown for when all you can embed is an image. So basically, you can just go ahead and set your settings over here with this calendar and the time zone adjustment. You can go ahead and set the theme that you want to use. And then finally, you can go ahead and grab the code and embed it on your site. And you'll have this really nice countdown clock. Now, the cool thing about this is that it will actually adjust for the user's time zone. So when they go ahead and hit the site, it will actually uh, take that into account and make the super complicated time zone adjustments that you definitely don't want to have to do yourself. Yeah. So, um, very cool stuff. I mean, there's not really a whole lot to say here, but you know, if you need a countdown clock, this is a pretty good one. Yeah. Um, so next up, we have a project called slickmap.css. Uh, this is pretty cool. This is a piece of CSS, a little project that you can download, and it will take your sitemap and put it into a really nicely displayed flowchart. Um, you know, this can be really useful to keep your sitemap up to date, you know, for search engines with the correct semantics, but also give your visitors something really nice to look at. That's really smart. Yeah, so there's just a, a quick little demo on the site right there. And as you can see, a little flowchart, first level is blue, then green, then yellow. So um, really nice. Not too much to say about that. Just go ahead and download it. Great, great little project there. Pretty nifty. Next up is tourist.js and as you know when you hit a brand new website you want to know what it does and you want yeah. to take 
a little tour of it, yeah. almost as if you are a tourist. Right? Oh, and so that's, oh. That's where the name comes from. Pretty clever. So rather than explain how it works, let me just show you what it does. So if I click run this example, you'll immediately see that it's highlighting an element on the page and it's bringing up this little tool tip that says, first, look at this thing. Okay, we, we're done looking at that thing. Okay, I got it, next step. And then look at this thing. All right, I think we're ready to finish up. Uh, so basically you can just go ahead and highlight different things on your page in a certain order and then you can go ahead and include the text that you want to put into that tooltip. And they have another example here, so we'll go ahead and check this out. You can put various different pieces of text in here. It's um, you know, pretty easy to use and I think this is an area where a lot of app developers struggle quite a bit. It can be difficult to put together that, that blank slate state where there's really nothing in the app just yet, but you want to help your users understand how they should be using it. And this is yet another great way to go ahead and do that. There's a lot of libraries that do this, but I like this one just because it's simple. Speaking of libraries, uh, we have one called least.js. And this one's pretty cool. This is a quote, random and responsive HTML5 and CSS3 gallery with lazy load. Now, the lazy load is what's important in a gallery. When something is lazily loaded, it is not fetched immediately. So if you have a thumbnail of a picture and then you link to the full-size version, the full-size version won't be downloaded until it's actually requested by the client inside of the web browser. This is going to be especially important with a responsive plugin because somebody on phone is going to save a lot of bandwidth, which may be constrained. So it uses CSS3 animations and it looks so, so good. Look at that island view picture. Wow. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Wow. So smooth. Mountain, look at that. There it is. Oh, beautiful. I want to go there right now. Incredible. Incredible. Vegas. Not the Vegas I know, but still a great picture. Anyway, very, very easy to use. It just takes a little bit of uh, code to insert in your site. And then all you need to do is have some semantic divs and unordered lists, and you're good to go. Anyway, that's least.js. You can find a link to that in the show notes at youtube.com slash gotreehouse or in iTunes, search for The Treehouse Show and rate us. Very cool. Well, next up is Dimensions at, I think it's dimensionsapp.com. Yes. And it's a free tool for designers to quickly test responsive websites. At least that's what it says on the homepage. So let's go ahead and click Start Testing and see what this does. Up here in the upper left, it says to enter a URL. So let's go ahead and type in HTTP colon slash slash teamtreehouse.com. Looks like I already typed that in there earlier. Ooh, preparation. And we'll go ahead and click test. It's going to load up the web page. Eventually. Theoretically, it loads up the web page. This is almost like being able to resize your browser. I think the important takeaway right here is to never do live demos <laughs> on the air or even in person at a conference. But trust us, this works, assuming you have a decent internet connection. Now, actually, it's really cool. If, uh, if we take a look over at my screen, you can see that you can go from a phone all the way over to a wide phone, and there is some, some give that you have. And then even up to a tablet, you know, see maybe you're looking at it this way for portrait, and then all the way up to landscape on wide tablet. And hey, do I want the desktop version? I do. And look, there's, there's my lovely co-host. Amazing. Amazing. That's anyway, my favorite part of the website. That's at uh, dimensionsapp.com, and you can even add this as a plugin or extension to Chrome and use it offline. Amazing. What will they think of next? I have no idea. So uh, is that it? Is that all we have this week? I think so. Who are you on Twitter? At Nick RP. And I am at Jay Cipher for show notes and more information on anything we talked about. Check at check out our show notes at youtube.com slash go treehouse and also find us in iTunes at Treehouse Show. And of course, if you'd like to see more videos like this one about Android, iOS, how to start a business, how to make websites, and so much more, be sure to check us out at teamtreehouse.com. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next week. If you'd like to see more advanced videos and tutorials like this one, go to teamtreehouse.com and start learning for free.